We're going to demonstrate for you now the process that we go through when we get kitted out to go into quarantine or isolation and when we leave the area after having worked with the ponies again. So the first step for us is always putting on the protective overalls and in our case we have reusable cloth overalls that we disinfect and dry between uses. The main thing when using protective overalls is to remember that they need to cover all the parts of your outfit that you don't want to have to disinfect uh, on the way back out. The other thing to remember is that items like leather shoes, leather watches may end up uh, not liking the disinfectant product that you choose to use so it's easier to take off anything that you don't need to use in the quarantine area and that you're not prepared to disinfect before you bring it back out. The hairnet's very useful because it's very hard to avoid contact between your head and the areas that are most contagious on horses with strangles which is around their nose and under the jaw and around the ears. We keep our mucking out equipment that we're going to use for these two ponies for the next couple of weeks are going to be used again and again. So there's no point disinfecting them every time they come out of the isolation area. And so they are stored away from the ponies, but still within the isolation area, which allows us to minimize not only the use of disinfectant, but also reduce the risk of contamination. When you've finished, you need to consider all of the outside of the overalls as contaminated, whether you've been close to the ponies or not. And so when we take them off, the important thing is then to take them off so that the inside is then sticking out because the inside of the overalls are clean and whilst you're doing that to remember that if your hands are contaminated before you've um, finished disinfecting then you don't want to touch your clean clothes with your hands until you've finished taking the overalls off. In this case Helen will also have to wipe down her hat and the last step always is to disinfect hands and boots. Hopefully from what we have shown you today you will appreciate that Although there's a fair bit of effort required in setting up and following quarantine procedures, it shouldn't be difficult and it shouldn't be complicated. And that's why we have set up everything to make it as easy as possible for everyone to follow the same quarantine procedures every time they go in and out of our isolation area.